Hi, my name's Ellen Ray, and I'm here to show you how to use the laminator. There are a couple things you need to check as you get started. The first is to make sure that the power is on. You want to push the on button and make sure that the red light in the middle of the button comes on. If it does not come on, push the forward motor button just a touch till you hear the motor come on and you see the red light come on, then turn the motor back off. The motor button in the off position is in the middle. In between the on button and the motor control is the speed control knob. It is highly recommended that you keep it turned toward the left to a slower speed so that you have more control as you're sending your laminating through. On this side, you see the number 300. This is the temperature we are going toward. When you are checking to see if the laminator is ready, push the ACT button, which stands for actual temperature. Right now, we are at 213, 214 degrees. We need to get as close to 300 as possible so that the film will laminate smoothly. The second thing you need to make sure that you check before you start laminating is at the back of the laminator. It's very important that the laminating film hangs several inches past this metal piece so that it doesn't get caught up in the rollers. It's very helpful to have binder clips or something else clipped onto the back edge of the laminating film to make sure that it has weight so that it will hang down over. As the laminator heats, you'll notice that the heat edge right along here, that the film is clear here and opaque up here. This will get wider as it heats. It's important to notice about a quarter to a half inch across there as you're getting ready to laminate. Please be very careful. This right here and this down here, these are the two places that the heat comes from. Don't touch them. They'll burn your fingers. It takes approximately 10 minutes for the laminator to heat to its full 298 to 300 degree temperature. It's very, very important that you give it that time and that you make sure that it's hot enough before you start. Most anything can be laminated. The thing you need to keep in mind is the thickness of the material that you're laminating and what is on your, what you're laminating. For example, this particular picture looks like it has some crayon as well as some other wax-based art materials. Anything like that is going to melt when you put it through the laminator. Keep that in mind. Also keep in mind that things like poster board, they can be laminated, but the thickness is difficult and it can cause the edges not to stick together. Make sure that you go very slow when you laminate poster board or anything of any thickness. Anything with glitter or glue or paint, you need to be very, very careful laminating it because it can get stuck on the rollers and make a tremendous mess that cannot come off. I'm going to check my actual temperature. Okay, we're at 295 degrees, which is hot enough for what we want to do. Now, before I laminated these things, I went through them, and there are quite a few that look like they were made with something with crayon. Well, before I destroy someone's artwork, I don't want to laminate them. I realize that for the most part, most of you will be laminating things that are of your own creation. Just keep in mind what you create with so that it's something that can go through the laminator if you want it laminated. Okay, it doesn't matter whether you go face up or face down with your work. Okay, I'm going to lay this face down on the tray here. All right, and I'm going to turn the motor on to forward. And it's moving very, very slow right now. Let it go for about two seconds, and then gradually slide what you want in. It's a good idea to put your fingers like this and gently pull back on what you're laminating in order to keep it flat. You'll notice the terrible noise that the laminator is making. 
it is because of the laminating film is wrapped so tight on the roll that it's actually peeling it off as it laminates. There's nothing wrong. Please don't touch the knobs on the sides here to change the tension. They have been set and they're in the right place. Okay, one of my things is through. I'm ready to send the next one through. You do not necessarily have to stop in between things, but it's a good idea to have things ready, like I'm about to do here. You're preparing to laminate something. It's a good idea to think about how to place things in order to conserve laminating film. I realize that so often we think of our supplies as being never ending, but it's important to recognize that laminating film is kind of expensive, so it's a good idea to conserve whenever possible. A better way to do these might to be to put them through this way where we're putting the short end first. This is a little bit more difficult because you have two different things here and you have a hand on each one. So you're gonna have to be a little more careful. Turn the motor on, slide each one into the groove, and then pull back on each one as they go through so that you don't get any wrinkles or bubbles in your work. Once you have finished with what you're going to put through the laminator, you need to let the laminating film run all the way out and past the metal. We're going to stop and we're going to use a pair of scissors and we're going to cut down here. It is never a good idea to use the little metal teeth here on this. Please, please. Let the laminating film go down past and cut it off down here with a pair of scissors. If you use these teeth, what happens is the laminating film goes down in here and it gets wrapped around these rollers and it really makes a mess of the machine. And we have to call the technology people to come out and fix it. So let it go like this. Then grab your binder clips off the bottom of here put them on here and it's ready for the next person to do theirs. It's very important to be aware of the things that you have on you that could get stuck in the machine. For example, if I go up here and lean over, you're going to notice my ID lanyard is hanging down here. If your ID lanyard gets stuck in here, it's going to get pulled through the machine, which means that it's going to pull you. <laughs> All right. This is hot, it can burn you. And so it's very important that you be careful. Take things like this off, okay? Notice on the front of your clothing, do you have a tie or anything like that here that could get caught? On your hands, bracelets, anything that would be hanging that could get caught, make sure that you take these things off because this could be dangerous, and there have been people who've hurt themselves using the laminator before. So make sure that you're safety conscious too as you're doing this. This is hot, and it can pull, so make sure nothing gets stuck in there, whether it's something that a sleeve that's hanging off your arm or anything like that.